plant a flower. Let's plant a tree. Let's plant a fruit for you, for me. Let's plant a flower. Let's plant a tree. Let's plant a fruit for you, for me. Mom took me to the store today to buy some seeds and dirt. And when we got home, we dug a big hole and got right to work. We buried the seeds inside the ground and watered them with the hose. I couldn't believe how easy it was to make something grow. Let's plant a flower. Let's plant a tree. Let's plant a fruit for you, for me. Let's plant a flower. Let's plant a tree. Let's plant a fruit for you, for me. I watered the ground every other day. And suddenly on the 11th of May, a bud sprouted high up in the air. All I could do was stop and stare. Every day it was something new. It grew and it grew and it grew and it grew. Now after two months I can see fruit for me on my beautiful tree. Let's plant a flower. Let's plant a tree. Let's plant a fruit for you, for me. Let's plant a flower. Let's plant a tree. Let's plant a fruit for you, for me. I know it takes more than one to give us food and oxygen. But together we can live long. And planet Earth will go strong, strong. Let's plant a flower. Let's plant a tree. Let's plant a fruit for you, for me. Let's plant a flower. Let's plant a tree. Let's plant a fruit for you, for me. For you, for me, for you, for me, a tree. Flint Hill family. Happy Earth Day. Today is Wednesday, April the 22nd, 2020. And I am so glad that you are uh, watching this video today. I hope you find it informative. I hope you find something in this video that makes you feel good. I hope you find something in this video that makes you want to help and participate by sending me some information. Okay, so with that said, I hope you enjoyed the little Earth Song Day uh, uh, video that we had as an opening um, that might give you an idea of what our show is going to be about today. But with that being said, I want to move on to our forecast because I know everyone's wanting to know what's the weather going to be like today because in Georgia it could change from by minute to minute. So if you don't mind, I'm going to pause right here and I'm going to find out about our weather and I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like today's weather is going to be really nice. It's going to be sunny with a high of 73 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. Well, with it being Earth Day, maybe after we you've seen you saw the video we played earlier, maybe it'll give you a good idea to go outside and plant some seeds or plant a flower or plant a tree or clean up around your area. 
Okay, so that's um, going to be pretty much so what our uh, video today is going to be about. So stay tuned because we have some more information for you about Earth Day. But right now I want to stop and pause and pay respect to our flag and our country. So if you will, please stand. Attention. Salute. Pledge. Thank you, and you may be seated. I want to start out with some announcements today. Okay, I need you to pay attention because these are kind of some announcements where you got to listen to what I'm saying so you'll understand. Okay, the first one is Nurse Barry has been in contact with as many parents as she could of children who had prescription medications at our school. Okay, so if you took if you had prescription medication that you took at school, Nurse Barry should have contacted your parents to come and pick that medication up, okay? Now, if you have not done that, today will be the last day she will be there this afternoon for your parents to go and pick that information up. Now, if you didn't get an email from Nurse Barry and you think you have prescription medication there, contact Dr. DiNardo and she'll help you, okay? Next is, it's time for you to start dropping off all this work you've been doing for the past few weeks. Now, let me tell you a little bit about how to do that, okay? If you have work to turn in, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can take that work and put it in an envelope or a folder, write your name and your teacher's name on the outside of it, bring it to Flint Hill. There's a designated box to put it in, place it in the box, and sign your name on the outside sheet of the box. Now, if you don't want to do that, that's okay. We've got another option for you. You can take pictures of what work you did, and you can send it directly to your teacher. And then you don't have to come to Flint Hill and drop anything off. If your teachers are doing things uh, electronically, like maybe discussions in Canvas, uh, quizzes in Canvas, uh, things like that, where you're doing work and the assignments and the teacher can get it directly, then you don't have to do anything. If you're, if you're not sure about any of this, you need to ask your teacher because your teacher knows what the assignments have been, okay? So that's just some information that I thought you needed to know. Um, next week's work will be posted on Monday on the website, and it will also be available for uh, you to pick up on uh, Monday after Dr. DiNardo sends out a school messenger. Um, we're still looking for pictures of what you're doing with your family. 
send them to me. I do have a few for tomorrow, um, but we're pretty much so spotlighting on some of the ones that I'm having to call and remind or ask through this. Send me something of what you're doing. I know some of you guys are, are probably really doing some fascinating things, and we'd really like to see it. Uh, don't forget about the, the flip grid that's in your teacher's canvas and also in my canvas page about passing the pencil. We've uh, given some instructions, and I know there were two more people who put one in yesterday. Uh, Slade and Caleb, I believe, were the two that put one in yesterday, and there was a few others before that, and I just can't remember all the names. Uh, I think Lim Scroggs did one, Michelle Richter, her little brother. Uh, I just can't remember some of the other ones. But, but join in on that uh, so we can have uh, lots of participation with that, okay? So that's pretty much so our announcements. The next thing I want to give you is some shout outs, okay? So the next picture you're going to see is a picture of one of the fish that was drawn from Friday's art lesson. And this um, picture was sent in by Liliana Irwin. And she did a really nice job, and we appreciate you sending that in. And uh, if you have your picture where you drew your fish from Friday's art lesson, send it to me. Send it to your teacher so they can forward it to me, okay? So we can put that on the new show. Next, you're going to see one of our WPTV members, um, Caleb Price, and you're going to get to see what he's doing at home. Uh, one of the pictures is a picture of him actually at his study station, um, uh, getting ready to do his assignments uh, with his teacher on Zoom. Uh, the other pictures are him playing, I believe they call that eye racing. I'm not real sure what that's all about. But I do know Caleb is fascinated with racing because his dad's uh, a race car driver. And he really is, he's like a crew chief, I believe, on the weekends when they're able to do that. So thank you, Caleb, for share, sharing that with us, okay? So I'm going to let you take a peek at these pictures, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to introduce our story for today. Thank you again, Liliana and Caleb, for sharing those items with us. We really appreciate it, and I hope you're doing well, and um, we will see you just as soon as we can, okay? Next is a, our story about Earth Day, and Miss Rebolts is going to bring that to us, and we always know, we never know what to expect with Miss Rebolts. So, I hope you enjoy the story about Earth Day, and you have a better understanding of what Earth Day is, and I'll see you back after the story. Hey Wolfpack family, today I want to talk to you about something that you may or may not know what's going on. Today is April the 22nd, 2020. Did you know that that's an important day? Today it's Earth Day. This Earth Day marks the 47th year that we have recognized this special day. Earth Day is the day that we recognize the Earth, the environment, and how we treat nature. 193 countries around the world celebrate Earth Day today. So you may be wondering what you can do to show your appreciation for this amazing planet that we have. The number one thing you can do is remember the acronym RRR, Reduce, Reuse, and Recycle. Reducing means to do less of. One way that we can appreciate and protect our planet is by reducing the strain we put on it. We can do this through using products that are safer for it or using less of a product. So maybe instead of everyone in your family driving to the same place, you could ride together in carpool. So then we look at reusing. Reusing is one really easy way everyone around you can, you can do to help our planet. You can reuse things in your house every day. Like say, maybe you drink out of plastic cups and you drink it and you throw it away. Instead of throwing it away and getting another cup an hour later, instead you can wash that cup out and you can use it again. That's one less cup that we're putting into our environment. You can also recycle. Recycle is when you, we break down a product to make another product from it. This can be done by saving items like paper, aluminum cans, plastic bottles, cardboard, and then you take them to your local recycling plant. There, they'll break them down and they know exactly where they can go that can be reused. No matter how you do it, if you are taking care of this earth, we will have it a lot longer for us to enjoy. Oftentimes on Earth Day, people plant trees or other plants as a sign of appreciation for our Earth. 
I hope you enjoyed this video of my family teaching you how to plant a plant. Happy Earth Day, all! Thank you, Miss Rebolts. As always, a treat to hear from her. Uh, we appreciate everything that she does for WPTV and for our behind the scenes members, Miss Ellis and Miss Cannon. Um, you just don't know what kind of work they are doing behind the scenes. We had a Zoom meeting yesterday. Um, you should be seeing a few things that might be a little different in the coming weeks. Um, boys and girls, uh, we need your help is all I can say because we're making these changes and we don't know whether they're good or bad because we don't know what you like and what you don't. Um, but we are putting a lot of time into this, um, guys, to try to bring this to you um, as something you can look forward to every day, something that's a little, it's still normal, informative, and fun, okay? So in thinking of that, we're going to move on into our silent reflection. So please take this time to think about how the very best you can be. Think about how you can be kind, how you can be supportive, and I'll see you back to sign us off. Thank you, boys and girls, again. You're doing such a great job. I hear it from your teachers. I hear it from uh, your parents. Um, I, we're, we're just so proud of you. We don't even know how, we, don't, we can't even say it enough. Um, we miss you. We're thinking about you. Um, we, we just can't wait to be able to get back together. Uh, and we hope that's going to be really, really soon. Okay? So, with that being said, I want you to have a wonderful day. Get outside and enjoy some sunshine. Read a book. Get your assignments done. Be nice. Help your parents. And until then, I will see you back here tomorrow. So, peace out.